Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center, the best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. Students at Rangeview High School in Aurora will see increased security as they head to school today. The school is taking extra precautions after two students brought a BB gun to school on Friday. Counselors will also be available for students still feeling scared. Police are investigating after hearing several reports of a man bringing a gun into the Regal Continental Movie Theater. The theater off I-25 in Hamden was evacuated last night in the confusion. No gun was found, but police are holding the man on trespassing charges for entering the theater without paying. And we're keeping a close eye on the job security of Broncos head coach Vance Joseph. With another heartbreaking loss and a 3-6 and six record on the year, his job is very much in limbo. Broncos insider Troy Rink believes he'll survive another week simply because there isn't a better option on staff. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. And it's starting off pretty mild this morning. We're actually in the low to mid 40s across most of the metro area. And we're going to see about a 10 degree warm up through the afternoon. We're going to hit that high in hour earlier because of the China time change. So we'll be in the low to mid 50s between about it looks like noon and four o'clock under again a mostly sunny sky here in town. The mountains are going to pick up a little more snow. We saw a good six to 12 inches within the last 24 hours uh, through the northern and central mountains. Now with this next front that's rolling through, it's going to be breezy again today for us. Some gustier winds across the northern front range mountains and then tomorrow some upper 40s to low 50s. Our next storm that one could bring a little rain and snow to the metro area late Wednesday into early Thursday. Accumulation does not look impressive, but look at how much colder it's going to get. We'll be just above freezing on Thursday with a high of 34. And then overnight lows, Molly, in the 20s, low 20s. It's going to be cold. Ooh, all right. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.